Bill, you needn't worry about your picture anymore. <laughs> I've even learned worry to be discreet. Yipes. <laughs> he's definitely screwed. Like, he's gonna end up hooking up with her again before deal. he does his wife. Say a little powder wouldn't do that gloomy mushy yours any harm. Oh, I don't care how. <laughs> and by does, I mean well, maybe Al hook does. up. Yeah. And hurry up, the boys don't like to be kept waiting. Oh, I should bother fixing myself up for a bootlegger. Oh, I think he's darn nice to stand for the way you treat him. Oh, is that so? Holy cat! What is it? I think that's Bill Legender's car. What? Sure is. That's him getting out. Oh, gee, my hands are hot. No, they're cold. I think I'm gonna faint or something. Oh, control yourself, Leo. His wife Leo. Him. She is. Maybe they got friendly with one another again. Oh, no, they haven't. How do you know? About Bill and his wife? Why, I heard only yesterday that... The show forgot it from the maid that makes up their rooms. Oh, ho. They don't have the relations right now. To keep a girl from going in. Come on, let's go. Come on, Aunt Jane, let's dance. Oh, I'd love to. Irene, keep your eye on your uncle. You know, the old boss who still thinks he has sex with the other. <laughs> Would, uh... I think like uh, the the wife's mom you know. is my favorite oh, no. character. Pardon me, Mr. Ledander. Do you want on the phone? Oh, thanks. Not gonna lie, the wife, the actress playing the wife is pretty easy on the eye. Hello, Bill. Hello, Red. Is that an outhouse or? Red. It wasn't a phone call. I said for you. Oh, you oh, don't, Bill. You've got to listen to me. I can't go on without you any longer. You let me out of listen, here. Listen, Bill, you can't get along without me either. You still think about me all the time, now, don't you? Red, well, because you follow me, me around I everywhere. I can't think about anything except you all day. I never see anybody. I never go anyplace anymore. Well, what are you doing? Well, yeah, you see, that's... You need help, and the fact that you're sort of aware of how obsessed you are is an indication that, you know, this is a cry for help, and ultimately, I think you need to consult some... Um, Psychological services. Yeah. I'm with my girlfriend and her bow. You better get a bow of your own. What bill? You don't mean Bo Jackson? Oh, no. Bo Derrick? Tell me you don't mean it. Tell me. Oh. That was a nice Red, move with her backside. Red, we've got to snap out of it, both of us. But why? We can see each other. You can come to my place anytime. No, I won't do Nobody that. Nobody will ever know about it, please. I won't, Red. Listen. Tomorrow night. Say so you'll come tomorrow night. Listen, 10 o'clock. You... But doesn't that counteract what she's trying to do? Isn't she trying to get officially involved with someone who's wealthy and prestigious and therefore she's going to, you know, marry into class um, and uh, privilege? Whereas, like, you know, being someone's other girl, like a kept woman, if you will, I fail to see how that allows her to realize her socioeconomic ambitions. Say... All right, then say you'll come. Say it. All right, I'll come. I bet you will. Sorry. Is that Alf Alpha? I thought he died young. Just a moment. What is it? Painter. Is everyone so insane? <laughs> oh my god. What was it, Bill? On the phone? Yeah. No, nothing. Mistake. It wasn't for me at all. <laughs> anyway, forget about the rest of dinner or the ride night, home. Bill. This is all that matters. Good night, Rain. I mean, that 
like editing was as subtle as a collision with an 18 wheeler truck i mean i failed to see how that was the most elegant way to bridge the end of dinner to this moment 